Ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure and an honor for me to address you today. Obligations unfortunately made it impossible for me to be able to join you in person in Prague. I would like to start by thanking the Czech Presidency for organizing this conference and for keeping the fight against anti-Semitism and the promotion of Jewish life high on the EU agenda. Jewish life is an essential part of our society. The contribution of Jews to Austrians' art, culture, politics and science has enriched Austria immeasurably. But Jewish life is also an integral part of Europe's identity. Anti-Semitism and hostility towards Jews, on the other hand, are an attack on fundamental European values. It is not only worrying, but also shameful, that more than 77 years after the Shoah, anti-Semitism persists and Jewish communities across Europe are coming under increasing pressure. For me and for the entire Austrian federal government, Austria or Europe without Jews is unthinkable. That is why the Republic of Austria has been committed to the fight against anti-Semitism for several years now. The national strategy against anti-Semitism, presented on the 21st of January 2021, provides for 38 concrete measures to prevent and combat anti-Semitism in a holistic manner. However, the best measure is the one that promotes Jewish life. Therefore, in 2021, we developed the Federal Act on the Safeguarding of the Austrian Jewish Cultural Heritage, the so-called ÖJKG, which was unanimously adopted by the Austrian Parliament. The Federal Chancellery assures the Jewish community in Austria an annual grant of 4 million euros. This grant facilitates the implementation of a variety of measures in the areas of security, the preservation and maintenance of the cultural heritage and the sustention of Jewish communal life. The Republic of Austria is thus making an important contribution to ensuring that Jewish life can continue to prosper in the future. However, this would not be possible without the vibrant Jewish community. Together we can show that Jewish life will always be stronger than anti-Semitism. As anti-Semitism is a global phenomenon, international cooperation remains crucial for the success of our strategy. This is one of the reasons why we initiated the first enhanced cooperation of 11 and soon 12 member states, the so-called European Conference on Anti-Semitism. This group of member states was launched in Vienna last May and is chaired by Austria. The aim is to contribute to the implementation of the EU strategy on combating anti-Semitism and fostering Jewish life. As a first step, we have decided to improve the reporting and recording of anti-Semitic incidents. Especially on the internet, hate messages are spread very quickly. Not only anti-Semitic, but also racist comments and postings make the internet increasingly a virtual space of hate and violence. We must fight this together if we want to preserve the internet on an international as well as on a national level. That is why we in Austria have already passed the Hate on the Net Act at the beginning of 2021. Hate on the net spreads quickly and those affected usually have no way to defend themselves against it. With this legislative package, we are ensuring that users will be able to take effective action against content on the internet that violates criminal law. All these measures aim to quickly relieve victims and protect freedom of expression. Let me conclude reiterating my support of the measures undertaken by the European Commission and by the EU coordinator on combating anti-Semitism and fostering Jewish life, Katharina von Schnurbein. Our national strategies and the EU strategy together will make a difference. Jewish communities should not only feel safer, but also be safer both online and offline. I wish you all a fruitful conference today and I'm very much looking forward to hearing about the outcomes.